Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it is your first time. Nice to have you. Today we are doing a clothing haul. I am so excited. I bought these things a little bit ago. I just have not had the chance to sit down and haul them. So I am going to be doing a try on as well, but I'm probably going to try on on a different day. So today I'm going to be talking about the products and stuff, and I will insert clips of me wearing them. Don't worry. So this is my first order from Boohoo, Boho, whichever one it is. I always see people on Instagram tagging this brand, wearing this brand, so on and so forth. I checked it out. They always have a lot of sales, like 60% off, 50% off. So either it's too good to be true and something is off, or it's just really good clothes for an affordable price. I did order quite a bit of stuff, and thank God they were having a 50% off everything on their website. Actually, when I made my cart, it was 60% off, and then I guess it was like the last day and I missed out on the 60% off, so the next day was 50% off. So either way, I got half off, which is amazing, or else I would have spent like $600. Yeah. With all that said, I'm really excited to check this stuff out. I have not opened my bag at all. The only thing I've looked at is the shoes. I will do my best to link everything down below um, that I've ordered, hopefully if it's still on the website. <laughs> so let's get started. I think I want to start off with the shoes first to get that out of the way. I got three pairs of shoes. This is the first one. This is Top Saka. Top Saka. This is what the shoe looks like. This is called the Studded Espadrilles. Honestly, these look so cute online. I love espadrilles. I have a few Tory Burch ones that I wear on a regular. They're very, very comfortable. So these are the type of shoes like I love to just slip on and go. They're really cute. Um, now I will say they're very light. Uh, they don't feel expensive at all. Uh, they're kind of, I don't know. It's a very interesting. It's very, very light. It doesn't feel like the most high quality product and it definitely has that like intense scent. It's not the highest quality of product, but it's cute. Um, I feel like I could probably get a few wears out of this until it starts uh, breaking apart. <laughs> Let me go ahead and try these on for you. All right, so this is what the shoes look like on. They look really cute from afar. Um, I really don't mind them. They're adorable. They're not uncomfortable, but I will say like they feel incredibly cheap. My foot just comes out of it. They, they're not like big on my foot, just the way they fit. Every time I walk, I'm gonna have my feet coming out. Far away, they're not bad. They're cute. I really hope this angle is working out and in focus. I apologize. <laughs> Next pair of shoes is actually Boohoo brand. Okay, if it's not Boohoo, please don't come for me. I'm just gonna call it Boohoo. So these, I wanted to do something different. Jess doesn't wear heels at all. And I just wanted to try something new. This is what the shoe looks like. This is called the Extra Wide Fit Snake Block Heels. This is where I made a really big boo-boo by getting extra wide shoes. I apparently wasn't reading when I ordered these because they are very wide. My foot just slips right through it and it kind of sucks because they're really cute. The shoe itself is pretty comfortable but my foot just slides straight out of this and I, I'm really sad about it. I guess let me go ahead and try these on for you guys anyways. Can I film? I'm just really bummed out that I got wide foot because these are so cute and they're actually not that uncomfortable. Like I could see myself rocking these. My foot just kind of slides out the front and it leaves it looking like really big. Oh, don't mind my feet by the way. They're not looking very great, but they're cute. If you like them, just make sure you're ordering like the right kind of fit and you don't get wide like me. So yeah. All right, so last pair of shoes. This is Koi Footwear, I think. It's called the Fisherman Pleated Sandal. I really like these and they're very in these days. I've been seeing this type of shoe everywhere, so I wanted to get me a pair. Now, I'm gonna note a few things. First of all, it smells like chemicals, but also mint chocolate chip, but like in a really bad way. Second, it is really lightweight. Um, this is definitely not like rubber. It's like some sort of plastic. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but on the buckle, right over here, there is black paint. And also the inside of the shoe right over here has black paint as well. I don't know what that is, why that is, I don't know, but it has paint on it and it, it, it looks not so great. So let's go ahead and try these babies on. So before I try these on, I want to show you guys where the paint was inside the shoe and on the little clasp right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's just black paint all over it, which I, 
How does that happen? I don't understand. Why did that have to happen? But it's just on this one shoe. And I don't know if you guys can see like the material. It doesn't look very expensive. So here are these shoes. Again, from far away, they look really cute. Like they're adorable actually, but they feel so cheap. They're so, like they just move around on my foot. There's so much space in here. I don't understand. I'm kind of like just disappointed. I wish these at least fit a little bit better because I would definitely wear these like despite the black paint on them. I feel like they're big, but not big. If that makes any sense. All right, I got my big boohoo bag. I feel like Santa Claus with my big sack. I have not, oh God, that sounded so weird. Uh, like I said, I have not looked at any of the clothes, so I'm just gonna be pulling things out. Let's do this. First things first, we have a pair of pants. This is the Mila pleated wide leg culotte. Okay, it's a culotte in the shade khaki. These look really comfortable. Are they see-through? Is it see-through? I mean, maybe a little bit. I'd have to try them on to really tell. Will this fit me? Also, you guys, sizing, I really hope I got the right sizes because it's kind of like an interesting situation with that. Some things go like small, medium, large. Some things are like size two, four, six, but they're like a little bit different because there's like UK size. Let's try them on. Hopefully you guys can see me and everything is good. I've never filmed here and the camera is so far away. I can't even see myself. So hopefully we're in focus. Hopefully you guys can see. They're very comfortable, I will say. They fit nice. Has enough like room. It's a very stretchy waistband. I feel like it's like static sticking to my legs in a very weird way. I can hear the static, but they are very comfortable. It's hugging my butt kind of weird and it's like sticking in weird places again because of the static. But overall, not bad. I would wear these and of course this is one of the shirts I also got in my haul, we'll get into that later. Okay, really quick little side note here, I forgot to mention in the beginning, but I have like a specific style. I mean, not really, like I like to try different looks and stuff, but my comfort zone is like jeans and a really cute t-shirt and blouses, things like that. Like, I don't know why, but I don't really wear dresses, bodycon dresses and tight like crop top skirt sets, things like that. It's not my style at all, like that Instagram look, you know what I mean? That's not my style, so shopping this website, it's a lot of stuff like that. So I try to find things that are things I would actually wear. So I didn't want to just order a bunch of stuff I'm never ever going to wear in my lifetime. So I try to keep it like just style. So yeah, let's continue. But that said, I got a t-shirt. How exciting. It's actually cute. Okay, so this is the t-shirt that I got and it says Botanical Gardens and it has different little flowers on it. I have a shirt sort of kind of similar to this that I've worn and I get a lot of compliments. Um, apparently I really like flowers. This is actually a really cute shirt. This is called the Floral Print T-shirt. That, that's it. It's really nice, a very soft uh, T-shirt material. I got it in the size uh, medium because I kind of wanted it to be like an oversized style. I didn't want it to be too tight fitting. And I think it's pretty true to size. Like it looks like a medium sized shirt. Kind of looks like I'm wearing pajamas right now, especially like this. But this is that floral t-shirt. It's really nice. Regular t-shirt. I have nothing bad to say. I have rolled up the sleeves because that's how I usually like to wear like uh, more oversized baggy tees. And yeah, I think it's really, really cute. Of course, you can like tie it or tuck it into your pants, uh, wear it with jeans or whatever. But I think overall, it's really cute. I do love this t-shirt a lot. All right, next thing we have, oh, another t-shirt. You guys, I've actually forgotten what I've ordered. Oh, this is cute. Fresh Lemonade, product of Italy. I just thought it was a cute little print. Oh, that's adorable. This is called the Lemonade Slogan T-shirt white. And I got the shade, shade? Wow, welcome to my channel. That's how you know. Uh, this is a US 4. So like I said, some things are not small, medium, large. And sometimes they go by numbers. I don't know. So I got a size 4. I don't know what that translates to. But it almost looks like the medium size in the other t-shirt. Alright, so here we have the lemonade t-shirt. It's really cute. Basic tee. I'm nothing negative to say. Uh, you can roll up the sleeves. You can wear it down. You can tuck it into your jeans. You can wear it out. This is like one of the ways that I would probably wear it. Tucked in, rolled up the sleeve. Very kind of casual. Very cute. I like it. What is this? Oh, that's cute. Okay, so this is the Petite Thai Front Animal Ruffle mid Midaxi mid Skirt in green. What size did I get? US 6. This is what it looks like. It has like a little ruffle opening here and it has like these two ties where you can tie it in the middle. I think this is so adorable. 
is it see-through? It might be a little bit see-through if you're standing in front of a window, so maybe wear shorts underneath. I usually always wear shorts under skirts anyways, just so like I'm comfortable. I really hope these things fit. I did actually order a few things from like the petite section, like skirts and stuff. I wanted to get like a petite size because I am like 5'1" ish I think and a lot of things are way too long for me and I wanted to get like the right proportion so yeah so here is the green skirt which I really like actually I think it's very flattering it's pretty it fits it's flowing I love the color kind of has like a high low effect to it I hope I'm in frame can't see anything but yeah I'm very happy about this one actually I like it next up we have oh my god I don't remember getting this Wow, um, this, this is the petite Carly printed satin shirt pink, and I got the size US 4. Wow, okay, this is like interesting. I really enjoy blouses a lot. Um, I love tucking them into jeans, wearing it a little bit open with like a cute bralette, making it casual or dressing it up, and I think I just wanted something like on the verge of tacky, but it's like kind of cute so and I guess this is a petite shirt so here we have our lovely silk blouse it fits really nicely the collar is definitely giving me like 70s feel it's very large and pointy it's kind of cute like open like this I would wear it like with a top underneath or I will also like kind of button it and tuck into my pants as well but just for the most part it's not bad it's okay it's whatever the print is very loud it's kind of growing on me though. I do like the print quite a bit. You can even tie this up, wear it like this. You tuck it into your jeans like this, like unbuttoned. You can wear it a little bit more baggy, kind of with your shoulder exposed, with something underneath, however you'd like. I don't feel like buttoning, but you can even button it all the way up and wear it like very professional. I see something with moon and stars. That's adorable, but what is it? Okay, this is another skirt, much, much longer. Uh, it has like, a, does it have a flap? Yeah, it has kind of a flap in here. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, first of all, this is quite sheer of a material. Yeah, if you stand by a window, you're going to put on a show. Yeah, this is going to be way too long for me. It's already hitting the floor. This is the Petite Celestial Print Wrap Beach Maxi Skirt in Black. Oh, beach? Maybe that's why it's sheer. Oh, okay. Dang it. <laughs> ah, yes, some leg. So this is definitely not like an everyday skirt. This is like a beach cover-up. It's really cute for a beach cover-up. It's ever so slightly long, but I kind of wore it a little bit higher up and I think it works very well. This is definitely something you wouldn't really wear out. It's not like a skirt because when you walk, it decides to show everything off. It has like a very high all the way up here slit. It is very cute with the bathing suit. I would definitely take this on vacation with me. I'm kind of bummed that it's not a skirt skirt because I really like the print. It has like a little tie here and it's very comfortable because it has an elastic waistband. Let's just pretend I have a bathing suit on. Um, this is kind of uncomfortable to be this uh, exposed on camera <laughs> per se for everybody. I see mesh, I'm afraid. Doobie, Doby, Doby mesh peplum frill midi skirt in black. I got the shade US 6. Okay, so this is kind of cute. Let me show you guys. Let me stand up a little bit. So the bottom has, okay, so the whole thing has that polka dot. I don't know if you can see. And the skirt, like the inside, just kind of stops and the material continues. Let me see the length of this. Okay, it's not like to the floor on me, but I feel like this is supposed to be a little bit more like a midi skirt than it is on me. It's a little bit too long. I don't really wear things like this very often. Uh, I have to really see this on because the way that it's stitched, like this overlay doesn't move and it looks like it's like bunching up, but it's stitched like that. This skirt is cute. It does kind of like hug the body nicely. The bottom area, this part down here, it is a little bit tighter like when you walk. It definitely feels a little bit tighter. It's not impossible to walk, but I feel like the waistband area is a little, a little bit more kind of baggy than I would want, especially for a skirt like this. I have to play with this. This is one of those things that Jess never really wears like tighter pencil skirts type of things I don't really wear very often. Can you guys see the bottom of this? 
It's either my head is out of frame, my feet are out of frame, who knows, this is... This all could be going very wrong. Just hang in there with me, I will get better at these try-ons, but for the most part, it's really cute. I feel like I would possibly wear this again. I feel like I could probably have gotten like one size smaller, just so it feels a little bit more skin tight and not so like bunchy. Oh, oh, it's a robe. <laughs> I really like the print on this. It's very pretty. Um, it's very flowy. I like the material on it. It's not... It's not satin, but it feels like it. It's it's nice. This is the Dark Tropical Floral Belted Kimono, black in the size small. It has like a white trim. I like this. Is it too long? <laughs> no, it's not too long, but it is a longer type of robe. I don't know if this is like... Is it like an at-home, you wear this only in the house robe, or can you actually wear this out? I got it to wear out, but hopefully it doesn't look like PJs. It's a lot of very interesting things that I've purchased that I'm questioning right now. It's really cute. I love the print. I love the style. The length is really nice for me. Like, it's not too long, but I feel like it's kind of cute with this outfit. Kind of. Not Maybe not really. But it does have like a little sash so you can tie it as so. I'm like out of breath. I'm sorry. Changing out of clothes is very uh, exhausting, so excuse my breathiness, but this is what it looks like. I will say it is very awkward in the arms, like I'm very uncomfortable doing this and I feel like I will rip it if I go anymore. So it definitely pulls right here, the fit on top is very off, but overall I have to say it's like very flattering, it looks super pretty, it flows when you walk, and if you wore this like with a black dress, just like kind of the vibe I have. It's very... I don't know. I like it. I don't think it looks like a robe. I think it looks like something you would wear out. Maybe I'm wrong. Does it look like a robe? Just be honest with me, you guys. It doesn't really have like a collar per se. It just kind of like flows. I don't, I don't know what you would call that. So I don't know. It just kind of does what it wants to do. It doesn't really have structure to it. Oh, okay. This is called the double pocket utility jacket rust i got the size us6 and this is what it looks like wait hold on there's strings what are these strings do you see the jacket because i cannot tell if i'm in the frame hello hi it's actually really cute again i have to try it on this is a very interesting style i really really like this color a lot the material feels nice i'm not gonna lie nice like thicker material i hope this looks good on it is like more of like a boxy square shape, but who knows, it can look really cool, like that very oversized look, which I'm very into. Fall is here, so this is definitely like a very fall jacket. It's like pumpkin color, so I'm happy about this. I'm a pumpkin. I, I don't know what the situation is. I need to cut the string out, but let's ignore the string. I don't mind this jacket. It's definitely a very square, boxy type of jacket. I kind of like that. Like you just kind of wear it open, very baggy with tighter jeans because if I'm gonna wear something really baggy on top I like to wear something a little bit more form-fitting on the bottom and like vice versa If you're gonna wear something very baggy on the bottom, I like to wear something very tight on top It kind of has like a very cool vibe. I just have to see it with like different clothes Maybe I'll even leave the string in. No, I won't. Oh, we have these strings on the bottom Okay, so you could basically pull the string and tighten the bottoms if you want instead of it looking like kind of off the body and more boxy it just brings it in i kind of like it like this a little bit better i feel like it's a little bit more flattering so it's up to you you can do it as tight or loose as you want and then you can kind of just adjust it with a little thingy here so yeah i like this jacket a lot it's my pumpkin jacket my pumpkin spice jacket we have a couple things left uh this is i believe this is a dress oh what is happening here this is the Petite Ditsy Floral Smock Dress in red. I got the shade. Why do I want to say shade and size at the same time? What's wrong with me? I got the size US 4. This is the dress. It's kind of like a cute little short baby doll style dress. And then the sleeves have this little ruffle situation. It's a little on like the sheer side. Like it's not the thickest material. It should be okay. Oh my god, why is this something that I would wear when I was like seven? I kind of love this. It's very 90s to me, and I think that's why it kind of caught my eye. It's like that very comfortable, stretchy 
cotton like um, jersey material it's very comfy feeling you know what I mean it's adorable and I did get this in a petite size so that it wouldn't be like too long because that's not really like the style of this dress just in a dress is a very rare sighting but I I really like this I think it's so cute very flirty very comfortable yeah I would definitely be wearing this you can like add a cute little belt depends what like shoe you put with it I don't know like I am very happy about this dress it looks way better on than off this is the last piece of clothing and i have like one piece of jewelry to show you guys so this is the denim i got i got the petite distressed hem straight leg jean in light blue i got the size us6 uh really hoping that this fits because denim is a little harder to work with if it doesn't fit you as opposed to like elastic stuff so these are the pants they're really cute actually. I love that the um, bottom is like a distressed raw edge. Um, I got the petite so that it's not too long because literally I always have to fix my jeans. I have to take them and get them altered because they're way too long. These are a US 6. I don't really wear a 6 usually, but I don't know. Just based off of what they said the models were wearing and how like thin they were, I felt like the sizes might be running like small and a little bit different than walking into like a store here. So I don't know, I can't tell by just looking at it if it's gonna fit. So here are the jeans. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, honestly. I don't know why I was just expecting it to either not fit or be so humongous, but they fit. I like the uh, length of the bottom of the pants, but I will say they kind of bunch up in the front. They kind of like look baggy. It's very not flattering. Like at the side, it doesn't really do much for my booty either. It kind of just, I don't know, it's just there. It doesn't hug any of your curves. I just kind of look like a box. I could probably have gone maybe like a size or so smaller. I do have a little bit of give in the pants. This is definitely like wear a big baggy t-shirt over it, uh, hide this area, maybe do some housework, some errands, paint a house type of jeans. For me they're not very like oh i feel great confident look at my curves i'm popping type of jeans yeah they just don't really do much for this area right here this is a no-no zone lastly we have the little accessory i got and i think i got a pair of earrings Ooh, okay these are cute these are the earrings it's called the double circle vintage look earrings they definitely have a very like vintage look to them it's very like faux faux chanel if i if i do say so myself even though they're just circles but these are actually kind of cute. I would wear these. I I love me some earrings. They feel like any type of like fashion jewelry. There's not really much to say about it. I will pop these on for you guys too. I'll try these on to show you what they look like. But they're actually really cute. I'm happy with it. Don't mind my appearance. I'm, I'm a mess today. But these are the earrings. I thought I would show you guys what they look like on. They're really, really cute. And surprisingly, they're not as heavy as I thought they were going to feel. So it's not like pulling on my ear. They're not going to get like super uncomfortable during the day. I have really nothing bad to say about these. I love like fashion jewelry, like big earrings, like statement earrings. I'm very much into them. So I really like so that is everything that I ordered from Boohoo. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys like these types of videos, definitely let me know if you want to see more fashion hauls and trying like clothing websites, questionable things. Let me know because I really, I love fashion. I love clothes. I'm always shopping. So if I can share that with you guys, it'll be really fun too. I actually like wink wink have another one of these hauls coming up very soon as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. And also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. With all that said, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!